Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is April 21st, 2018. Today we will be viewing the latest path of the enormous space rock that's been orbiting Earth. This object is best viewed from the weather cam located at the military base just outside Anchorage, Alaska. These images are from April 19th because heavy cloud cover prevented viewing yesterday and the day before. This is how the large tumbling rock looks as it came from the FAA weather cam on April 19th. It's fairly easy to see for a few frames, but then it gets difficult to see without some contrast. Visibility of the asteroid disappeared a little sooner here than in previous weeks. So when we look at its path in just a minute on the drawing, uh, the path will be a little bit shorter. This close-up helps to see it a little better. Some contrast has been applied to large areas of the image. The contrast actually works better if applied to smaller section, which we'll see in just a minute. I've avoided using the word asteroid in the title or description because last time I did that, it seemed to make this video malfunction for a lot of people. Here is the zoomed out view with contrast applied just to the area of the asteroid. <clears throat> it's easy to see that it does look like a very large rock tumbling through the sky. But in order to be in a low Earth orbit, it has to be at least 1200 miles away. And gravity is what keeps an object in orbit. But the orbiting object's speed or inertia must be perfectly balanced with its distance from the object it's orbiting, otherwise it won't stay in orbit. It is unlikely that this passing asteroid would just coincidentally achieve this perfect balance, although it's not impossible. These forces of inertia and gravity have to be perfectly balanced for the asteroid to maintain this orbit. If the forward momentum is too weak, then the pull of the gravity from Earth will eventually pull it down. Here is the path comparison that the asteroid has taken for the past several weeks. The red line is the path the asteroid took on March 24th. The yellow line is April 1st. The black line is April 7th. The white line is April 14th. And the blue line is the most e recent, uh, April 19th. My guess is that the government will soon have to send a nuclear warhead into this asteroid to break it up. This will no doubt cause concern over the uncertainty of how many pieces will result and where those pieces will fall. The Bible's book of Revelation discusses two major asteroids, or pieces of asteroids, one falls into the ocean and the other on land. This object is part of an approaching celestial system. Many people ask when the system will make its closest pass to our Earth. A general indication of time is provided in the following screens of text. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe. 